Hey guys and welcome to this tutorial. Today we're gonna work with um, the manual Bessoni lab model we did in the last video and make sure you have your folder with um, the blend files and all the backup files and so on and also download in, also with, from the description the material optimized um, pack. This one comes from the photorealistic character from Epic. I can show it to you here. Get the stuff from this one. I just packed for you so you don't have to download this one. I migrated to another project and zipped it. So yeah, let's get started. Open up the blend file. So here you just need to press F11. Then you are in this perspective. So here we are with our old character. So um, yeah, I finalized this character. So that's why I got here this to uh, yeah, PNG files. So let's get rid of this uh, high arms here. We will apply the armatures as shape, shape cape. So we don't need this armature. We will uh, work with the Mixamo armature. So just ignore that they are here. So next up, we need to export this one as an FBX. Make sure you're on in, in this folder. So export this one. And yeah, now we have anything we need to get it probably into uh, into Epic. So before we start, I noticed that we are working with Cycles Render, and that's because th that's the reason why we can't get the materials out of uh, Blender because Cycle Render has yeah his special renders which don't support uh, exporting materials. So um, so actually. That's why we have this function uh, finalize and get here the texture. But if we open this one now, I can show you. No, not the placement, the derm. It's a bit too yellow, uh, too orange. Sorry. So and to to actually mm, remove this, I prefer to open it with uh, PaintNet or with Photoshop or whatever you like. And there we have. Um, some corrections to the picture and there we have uh, the curves and under curves we have uh, lightness or uh, shiningness and RGB but we will work with this shining shiningness and here we just go a bit up so that looks a bit more neutral to uh, human skin so like this and just save this as this one or well, let's say we want to do this as two, so we have both. And yeah, that's it for this part. So close this up here. Open up your launcher. Let's get our tutorial project from the last two videos. And while the project is loading, just open up Chrome or Firefox or whatever and type in normal maps generator. So you just normal map online GitHub. Um, just make it here on the side somewhere so you can get your MP folder or whatever you called it with the uh, with the diffuse we created and drop it in here. Whoops, there is the project, close it up and drop it here now. So now you can make it big. Now we have some 3D measurements. So that's exactly what we want. So let's download this. Mm, yeah, here we can save this. Let's see which one this is. So we downloaded this one. And let's get also the displacement. And download this. So now we can head back to uh, Unreal. Let's open our main map. Okay, this is this one. Let's create a new folder called this. And the mm, character, maybe something like this. And let's import the FBX. Go to your desktop or uh, into the MP folder. Here it is, and there is the FBX. So, here, mm, make sure we have the uh, settings here, like I do. Uh, we can actually close the skeleton mesh because we will later use Mixamo skeletons. Or let's, for testing, bring this also in, but we won't use it. So yeah, let's import all. So next uh, we 
pull in our character here and let's get him to view. So get here camera speed to two. And you can scroll with your mouse lot faster. So now we have this white character here and let's now work with the assets here. So for this it would be easier to open up the blend file and look here up what exactly what is. So here we have the uh, cycle render uh, material so we see that the fur is black or at least brown but, but uh, yeah let's make it somewhere brownish. Where is this dark brown here? Uh, next up we have the generic it's black, I think this is the uh, the pant. So make this one black. Apply. And let's apply this one too. Then yeah, here you can see it's black now. Mm, the corner is translucent, I think. Look here up, yeah. It's translucent. So plug this in the opacity and here on the opac get the translucent and apply this one. And for the next three or four, now I forgot one. So let's look this up. Uh, the pupil black two. So this one here. Also black. Apply. And let's get now the three last, which will be all our diffuse. So let's import here the normal, the displacement, and I will use this a uh, bit brighter uh, texture. So here we go. Let's go into the human eyes first. We will here only use the base texture. So I hit apply. Let's look this up. Here you can see it's working. So next up we have the human skin. Let's pull this in. Um, maybe in the next video we will also take the uh, the eye shader from the photorealistic scene. Uh, yeah, let me know if you want this. So yeah, and let's do the last thing here while it's loading. So let's get diffuse here and let's apply. Now it's applied, and now we can see our male character, and he is ready to go. So we can save this up. Oops, what happened here? <laughs> I think I pulled this onto the floor here. Let's get this away. Yeah, I think it looks really good. Um, let's do for comparison a uh, paint screenshot. So I save this here. So back in the project we have here our material optimized and I think here on the material we have the human skin. This one will be moved into our character. All the other types are functions from Epic from the photorealistic uh yeah from the photorealistic content example. So here get our MB lab human skin and here we have to do some work so Get in your displacement, your normal, and your diffuse, and pull the three here. Search for the normal. This one gets here. I made some comments so you know where which belongs. So you can see here the diffuse goes into that, and the alpha goes into the roughness. Oh, my bad. This one <laughs> is the displacement. We want to have here the diffuse. So base color and the roughness. So now we can delete this. And here's displacement from the green channel. This goes into the specular. So I 
let's delete this. And let's actually grab here. No. Uh, which one was it? It's human eyes, human skin. There is it. So, skin here. This one needs to be replaced by human skin zero, zero, 001. And let's wait for the compiling. Or, uh, my bad, apply it, of course. Don't wonder, it's here a bit wide. So, let's just get into here, and here we can see that he has some really nice um, yeah, skin uh, particles from displacement. So, yeah. Mm. So, yeah, that's the difference here. If you're not comfortable with this one, we could um, rework here the normal map. So we could uh, invert the red and the uh, green channel. So you have some uh, different, uh, yeah, the, this uh, output. Here you also can just use another height. So and if you want to download this one, you can also work um, with this normal map. So let's get this one. And let's script this one into the human skin to here. Let's apply. Yeah, and now we have a little bit of a difference here. Uh, you can see that this is a bit in. And yeah, if, if this is too hard for you, you can, of course, work here with the uh, values. So let's get this back. And let's get this strange um, in about. 1.5 maybe, and the level to 4 or 5, I don't know which direction this was, yeah here, let's make this 8 or 7.5, mm. and let's test this one. So yeah, you can play with these values here and look what's best for you. I think this one now is a bit better because it's not so uh, hot shaped. So now let's see this. So now, yeah, this is a bit better, I think. So we have a little bit of this human uh, skin, uh, yeah, structure, but not too much. So I like this much more. So if you can, you can play there with the values, and maybe you get some better results than I do. But yeah, I think he looks very pretty and very impressive for something we just did in under one minute in Blender. So yeah, so that's it. Thank you for watching and in the next video we will animate him. So have a nice day. Bye.